there was a challenge then or did you just not care? Was, was, or did you ever feel that you had to compromise and try and make or even remixes to try and suit the crowds? Or did you feel like, nah, we're not going to bother with that. We're just going to concentrate on our own, our own experimental sound or whatever it is. I mean, is that, is that how you felt about uh, it? Yeah, there was a there was a, a a time we were on Tommy Boy Records in the United States, who, who were like a, a hip hop label, really, um, and they thought it was important to get uh, the tunes, the singles mixed for their clubs. So we had like various uh, American remixes for, uh, particularly for the New York scene, and. Um, I, I wasn't very keen on them at the time, but having we're actually putting a lot of that uh, remastering a lot of that stuff now, and I can see it with different eyes now. We were very autonomous and very full of ourselves back then, and and we remix very northern and tight as well because we're like we're not paying that for him to do that. <laughs> you know, a lot of the time we didn't have the, the like we could do it ourselves and save ourselves. You know, we were like that about videos as well. It's like, we're not paying that, you know? Um, so <laughs> if I could go back in a TARDIS, I would have been trying, I would have tried to be a bit more engaged with the world. You know, we were young and green and kind of, um, trying to hang on to the um, self-empowerment that the rave thing gave to us. You know, all, all of a sudden we, we didn't feel like we could be talked to about what we did because, because it was that new, you know, it was, a, it was a new kind of music. So there was a yeah. freedom in that and we, we tried to protect that freedom. But I mean that's that's admirable. I mean, I mean, but I mean from from the perspective of, you know, I mean I've always been curious because there's less commerciality with with, with the certain acts that, if you take for example the Prodigy that came out and they did the, I mean, way back before any of the the, the major success that they, they were in the rave scene, they were doing their thing. They, yeah, they yeah, we played a lot with them. Yeah. Yeah, and, and they had the kind of sound, but then they kind of flipped a little bit. And I don't know whether it was a deliberate flip or whether it was an accident, but yeah. they came out and then they suddenly went mainstream. Yeah. And and then it kind of felt like they, they deliberately tried to, you know, that way where you go to a studio, let's that, that formula work, let's try and repeat that formula type thing. Yeah. And, and 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 I felt that eight oh eight state have never done that. Yeah, well, that that's true. Uh, I mean, I can feel it felt at times like we we were trying to adopt certain mindsets. You know, uh, once uh, we become a three piece, like um, Martin left in nineteen ninety one, and uh, it became me, Darren, and Andrew. And Darren and Andrew were very much out there uh, DJing, and they were. Um, you know, big room DJs kind of thing. You know, they were out all the time um, doing that job and therefore, you know, wanted to tailor the records much more into that kind of area. Um, but we, yeah, it was, it was a little bit of arm wrestling uh, on that album, Gorgeous. And then we... By the time we'd reached uh, the next one, Don Solaris, it was that time of drum and bass and trip hop and all kinds of uh, expansion of the palette of dance music. You know, it, dance music wasn't... One thing. Uh... One thing, yeah. And certainly albums that sold well weren't to a collection of 12 inches. You, no. know, it, you know, albums had to say something. They had to have a gravitas. And uh, I would say out of all the albums that we did, that Don Solaris is uh, my, my, the one I'm proud of uh, most because it, it covers so much ground. It's almost kind of got a spiritual quality to that record that um, mm -hmm. the, was lived in. Uh, people say, well, why can't you just repeat that? And it's like, you couldn't repeat it because it was the people that we were that summer when we did it. <laughs> you know, it was kind of... Yeah. 
imbued with um, the humanity of that journey that we're on. You know, people forget that with electronic music. You just think you can print it like wallpaper. Uh, to a certain extent, you can, but, you know, it's like that's not what we're striving for. You know, it's you're trying to set the bar quite high here and there with records that kind of meant something to people. And you're trying to hit that bar all the time, you know.